Hey everyone. So since we know that Cacteria is coming next week on Thursday, let's have a look at potential June 2021 Neovision and Neovision Awakened units. Again, I will be combining the Neovision and Neovision Awakened units because if you're looking at this list at the end of it, you will see that there are very, very few Neovision Awakened units this time around. And with very, very few, it's literally two. So there was no reason to do an extra video on Neovision Awakened unit because that'd be kind of pointless. So yeah, let's dive right in. Oh, by the way, I had a 100% accuracy in May, but I'm not very confident for June because there are way too many uncertainties and question marks. So let's start with the very first question mark is, do we get a global exclusive fan unit again? Because Gumi hasn't announced any yet. And we've known about King Behimi and Cacteria about a month prior to their release. And we have no information available yet um, regarding a potential June a global fan fest unit or content fan design contest winner unit. So, um, yeah, uh, this begs the question, do we even get one in June? Because if we don't, we may either get Shielding Blade Charlotte, which would be then a mocking event, or we may get Royal Puppeteer Afmore, which is a raid event, and it's the Final Fantasy XI um, event in that regard. I don't have neither on this list in uh, in in a PowerPoint presentation, because I still believe that Gumi may or may not just push out a video early June where they discuss the plans for the fan design units. There's still two more coming, if I'm not mistaken, one mock and something else I forgot about already. Or it's a Chocobo with Moogles on it, if I'm not entirely mistaken, that should be the next one. And another one that I don't know about anymore. Both are looking cool, the art that is, so we'll see about that. But yeah, like I said, maybe they'll do a video early June uh, to discuss their plans for the Global Fan Fest units and probably their plans for the fifth anniversary. But in the first week of June, we will see a story event return. And the story event is about Churail Kurail, I don't know how to pronounce his name. And technically speaking, Diverti was also released um, with the story event, but we've seen Gumi split up every single dual Neovision banner lately. So it's a fair assumption that they will continue to do so. And um, it's a 50-50% chance, literally, who gets released first. Uh, I believe it's Shorel, but it may as well be Diverti. But Maybe they will keep Trail or release Trail first because he is the worst one of both. Well, Liberty isn't that good either, but he's far better than Trail. So Trail has a Trustmaster Materia uh, with 20% Lightning, Water Light and Dark Resistance, which also provides 50% Demon Killer, Physical and Magical. It's a good Materia, but it's a little bit light on actual stats. I mean, the Demon Killer is still cool. The Super Trust Master is a whip, which already diminishes his use, to be honest. Uh, it's locked to dark, the whip that is. 185 attack. It's a two-handed whip 2 at 1.05 1 to 1.55 variance. So the variance is not high to begin with. We've got way better variance weapons already. So yeah. He's a total dud pull for near visions, I feel like. And the vision card, the vision card isn't that bad, right? It's uh, a 110 attack vision card again with 80% for whips and an additional 20% um, at level 10 with 50% LB damage on top of it. But the 50% LB damage and the 20% attack are FFBE only. And I don't know, but I feel like if. If the vision card needs you to wear a whip, uh, this vision card is pretty much only trail territory. So, hmm. In his base form, he's a physical dark chainer with bolting strike frames and, well, the same applies to the brave shift. So, 
Eh, uh, so how good is he? He has three killer types he can buff, Aquatic, Human, Demon, and um, an 87 defense break on his base LB with Light and Dark and Parrots at 130%. So those are the really good things, but the bad things are he has very low LB modifiers, both only 100x, both chaining moves. He only has a 20% a Dark Amp for himself, Venera has 90% breaks, 25% amplifies for the whole party, by the way, so hmm. has got bare bones kit without any party support. And the killers, well, they are only 100% for himself, so hmm, I don't know, but I'd rather probably use someone else like Dark Knight Luna for a 200% aquatic killer, for example. That's way better, even though Dark Knight Luna may or may not deal significantly less damage, but the damage he provides to the whole party is a lot higher than just 100% aquatic. We've also got better human and demon killer buffers too, so... I feel like Chorale is a very bad pull for everyone. So should you pull? Nah. His burst is barely higher than Near Vision Awakened Tifa. And with barely, I mean literally 1% higher than her, so... Yeah. While the variety on the killers is nice, they are far too low in value to be considered decent. We've got so many, so much better options than him. Um, but... We may see some global exclusive buffs to him, but they need to be really high, like what, at least 150 killers, at least a 130 or 140 LB modifier. Other than that, he's just... Eh. And I, I feel like the STMR is just plain bad. If they, if they upgrade his kit, they should also upgrade his STMR to be elementless, to be honest. And again, I want to stress this, the Verti may or may not be released together with them. Gumi has been splitting banners for a while now. And in July, the next story event would technically be Ibarra. So releasing the Verti in July instead of a story event would be the most logical thing to happen. So that is why I'm saying the Verti may be coming in July. But if they release the Verti in June instead of Shurail, then Shurail will really get released in July. So keep that in mind. There was no New Vision Awakened, by the way, with this banner. So the next one is Pure Black Mage Vivi, of course. Uh, he originally came with Zidane on the same banner on the JCP server, but as you've seen, he got split up. So he will get released on his own, and I'm guessing he'll be released in the second week of June. So yeah, the day uh, not the day, Vivi's uh, Trust Master is a Materia with 75% magic through single wield. It actually says single wielding any weapon with or without shields, so that is true single wield. Um, but it also just works as true double hand, to be honest. Um, I made a mistake, there's no attack with fists on this, sorry. I will uh, edit this out uh, real quick, or I'll just make an quick cut and just adjust this. Give me a second. All right, sorry for that. I, I even checked the slides three times and I didn't see that arrow. All right, it's correct now. So 75% magic through single wheel or through double hand should not should be the same in, in his case. The Super Trust Master is the highest magic hat we are getting. 100 MP, 72 magic and 20 spirit on top. So. That's good. That's really good. He doesn't have any vision card of his own, technically speaking. Global may give him his own vision card, but I wouldn't count on it. He shared the vision card with Zidane, which I feel like is kind of... Why? He's not a physical type DPS. But anyway, in his base form, Vivi is an element imbue bot for fire, ice and lightning. And in his brave shift, um, he deals the most damage with lightning, ice, fire and non-elemental damage. And the special thing about this is he even has his own passive where he gains higher modifiers when he's reflecting. So that also allows him to chain on his own. Think of him as a tag chainer pretty much. That is what he literally is. And he chains 
chains chaos wave awakened in base and in brave shift alike so how good is vivi um he deals superb reflect damage and i'm saying it's a meme uh, but this is really respectable. Technically speaking, if you're just Luna Freya for killers on her um, evocation stuff, Vivi outdamages her, according to early calculations, that is. So yeah, uh, Vivi is also great for the 100 chain score in Dark Visions. I know this sounds kind of ridiculous, but he can reach the 100 chain score on his own. So technically speaking, if you can not use Mastermind Zorn in your Dark Visions Mage team. All you need is Vivi to do his thing and you'll be good to go. So that's cool. Um, he has the good party buffs um, that you can use. I just mentioned Fire Eyes Lightning. Uh, he has innate 300% avian killer, which is very cool. 300% magical avian killer that is, and I believe 100% physical too. And he has a 5x chain mod cap as a true double hand unit, which is also very sweet. You're just gonna give him uh, SOS Lightning's STMR, and he's a true double handed 6x chain mod um, modify attacker, which is very nice. The bad is uh, powering up, up all his moves. Uh, hit your units as well, especially in the base limit burst. It literally states hits all units. So keep that in mind for dark damage. You want to boost your dark resistance beforehand. Uh, he has a super high LB cost at 80 crystals. And if you don't upgrade his LB, I believe it's 119 LB crystals too. So it's expensive. Um, fully powering up Vivi takes a long time we're talking 12 turns here where he lances really strong damage because you have to think of him as something like milo he has that single skill that powers up 50 percent magic per power up and the floor is 500 magic increase but you can only cast this once because his quad cast is only for his magic skills and the magic skills are technically what you want him to do so you cannot triple or quad cast his stupid um, magic increase, increasing skill. So hmm, that's bad. And the kit is actually bare bones if you are leaving out all the magical skills. So the actual abilities he has, those are very, very few. So yeah, should you pull? Um, that really depends on you, uh, to be honest. If you want a meme, Trainer in Dark Visions, especially. Vivi is great for that. He's also a great mage for any trial you want to use. Say the latest JP trial, the Archi, whatever it's called, the, the, the 12th race enemy, as it's called on the JP trial page. Um, Vivi is super good for that. So, yeah, um, he has immensely high burst for a non evocation. But like I said, you have to wait an literal eternity. It's the same as it was with Madame Adele Neo Vision. She also took 12 turns to actually fire off her most powerful move. So yeah, it's the same with Vivi, to be honest. And yeah, our fourth now, or third, however you want to see, look at this, is, and I'm really hoping this happens because I'm super excited for Ninja Master Hawkeye. I'm really hoping we are gonna get the Trials of Mana collaboration because um, Gumi hinted at it a few times already. So yeah, the Trust Master are close at 50 attack, 16 defense, 50% demon killer, physical only, and 500 static attack for only Hawkeye units, meaning Ninja Master Hawkeye is included in that, of course. So yeah, it's it's a great tr trust master. It's pretty much on a super trust master level regarding the basics, basic attack already. 50 is great. Add on top 500 static attack, it's already superb and 50% demon killer is, this is a trust master on super trust master level pretty much. And the Super Trust Master should look very, very familiar to you. And this is not a mistake I made for once. It is just a plain copy of Neovision Sora's Kingdom Hearts 3 
Super Trust Master. 80 attack percent and 75 percent LB damage. It's a great Super Trust Master, don't get me wrong. I would love to have this one more time. Having three or four of this materia, it's great. I've been constantly using Sora's STMR throughout the last half year, so getting more of it, never gonna say no to that. Division card, it's a straight copy from New Vision Zidane. 100 attack, 80% attack with daggers equipped, 50% LB damage, 4 trials of mana only. Uh, for trials of mana units only. So pretty much like for like with the Zidane, with the only exception of it being trials of mana and Zidane is Final Fantasy 9 units. Um, Hawkeye in base is a multi-element chainer. Um, he can chain earth, fire, earth, water, fire and lightning. Uh, one important thing here, um, the earth, water, fire and lightning abilities, they are stacking abilities so for each use they get are getting stronger lightning has the highest modifier so earth water and fire they start at 52x modifier and um they go up to six no they go up to 96 correct lightning however starts at 68 modifier and goes up to 108 all of them imperiled by 120%, but the kicker is the lightning ability takes 5 uses to reach its maximum. Earth, water and fire take 11 uses to get up to the 96 modifier. So technically speaking you actually want to use the lightning attack if at all. Because he has a dark chaining skill in his Brave Shift and that is the best one, technically speaking, because it also imperils by 130%. But yeah, in his Brave Shift, he's an LB chainer. He is a stacking LB chainer too, so you have to LB multiple times, just like Zidane, to reach his maximum value. And he has, I believe, 24 hits in his LB, so it's heavily backloaded, meaning the mo mo most amount of damage is at the very end of the LB chain. He chains Absolute Mirror of Equity in base and Absolute Mirror of Equity, Bolting Strike and Chaos Wave Awakened in his Brave Shift. Although the Chaos Wave Awakened attacks, they are magic but take physical type killers. So keep that in mind. Alright, how good is he? Um, this list is long but we'll get to that because the bats, they are they aren't as bad as they look. But let's take a look at the uh, the good side. So superb trust master, amazing super trust master. It's the same as New Vision Sora and it's still amazing in my book today. And it will be two in half a year, I believe. Uh, the vision card is also superb. It's the same as New Vision Zidane though. So nothing new to be honest. Um, Hawkeye has an 87 break in his brave shift. He has four elements at 120 in peril and one element, dark, like I mentioned, at 130 in peril. He also brings a 25% dagger in peril. It's on both his LBs, so in a base and brave shift. And it's pretty sweet uh, because that helps out Zidane reaching his maximum damage floor more easily. He's on power in damage with Zidane. I believe Zidane if you account for the dagger in peril is a little bit ahead of him but let's say they are about on par and well because you are probably using Zidane anyway uh, he has superb synergy with him because Zidane's STMR you don't need Zidane to use this STMR anymore but his STMR is great for Hawkeye because one of the bad things about Hawkeye is he only has a 150 innate LB boost for himself and it's on his LB too, which is kind of eh. And um, just like Zidane, Hawkeye needs external and trusts to power up the LB multiple times or else you will, you will wait for quite a while to power up his moves. And um, yeah, need someone to use Zidane's STMR to, to get his max potential damage, but that should be fine because we are doing the same for Zidane, but I just wanted to mention it here. Has a long windup, like I just mentioned, if you cannot entrust reliably, you will have to wait a little bit to get his maximum damage. 
And another bad thing about Hawkeye is that he has no active killer buffs. So Dane has the party AOE avian killer, but Hawkeye doesn't have anything. And that is why I meant he has superb synergy with Zidane because Zidane does the things he doesn't and the other way around. So Hawkeye does the things that Zidane doesn't, namely this 87 defense break and especially the dagger in peril. So yeah, should you pull? Um, if you pull for Zidane, you also should technically pull for Hawkeye because they perfectly synergize with, with each other. It heals top dog damage and is easily on par with Zidane. And like I said, Zidane might skip ahead just a little bit with the dagger in peril. And yeah, I just mentioned it. He also brings the much needed dagger in peril, has 87 defense break. Although Venera technically does it better, but she deals significantly less damage. And the 87% compared to the 90% defense break. I think it gets to a point where it doesn't matter anymore. I mean, technically, of course, 90% is better than 87. But the damage that Hawkeye brings combined with Sedane, you can live with 87 breaks instead of 90% breaks, to be honest. And we haven't used 90% breaks in ages any, anyway, so who cares about that? I just wanted to mention it because I know someone will mention, oh, but Venera has 90% breaks. Yes, you are correct, but Venera hasn't had a spot in final bosses of Dark Visions for ages now. She never actually had, I believe. So, uh, And also you're going to get a, another chance at a great limit burst materia. So if we are getting Trials of Mana call up, don't miss out on it because the units are great. So another great unit on the... Trials of Mana collab is going to be the New Vision Awakened units. Those are Angela and Duran. Angela, I technically should have included all her abilities because I don't think we have Angela on the global server at all. But yeah, the list would have been long. So the she gains a few new things. She, ha she has a new Absolute of Miracle Equity Chain. It's magic damage, it's not elemental, but it chains with physical killers indicated by the star next to the magic word. And she's a non-elemental damage dealer and she's a super strong non-elemental magic damage dealer too. So the base form, that is not where all it, all the damage is coming from and all the hype is coming from. It's all about a brave shift. Now she has a lot of abilities as you can see. She has a lot of elements that she covers. Uh, dark, earth, ice, water, lightning, fire mainly. But as you can see, her limit burst, and that is where it's at. The limit burst is 300x magic damage with consecutive increase. You need to cast it five times to reach an 800 max modifier. That is crazy. There is probably no boss in the game that will sustain this amount of damage anyway. But if there is, and if you can actually stack this up five times, Angela is going to destroy literally everything. She's such a great and strong unit. She's probably one of the best majors you are, you are able to get. And the funny thing is, it's to all enemies. So a trial such as the Genie's Trial, they won't last long against Angela. I believe on the third or fourth cast of her LB, this, the fight will be over. And especially if you're using Entrusts, Bards, Shira come to mind. Yeah. The trial's gonna be over very, very quickly. But then keep in mind, it's non-elemental magic. And if the bosses are super, super strong against non-elemental attacks, Angela's gonna have a bad time. But still, for non-elemental magic, she's super meta. And I'm personally, I'd like to have her because I think she's, she's a great mage. Right, next up, Duran base form. Uh, I like the sprite, by the way, it looks pretty sweet. So Duran, um, he gains a little bit of tanking stuff uh, in the base form, or he has always been kind of a tank, to be honest, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, he gains a chance to protect all enemies, so a cover 65 to 80%, which is decent uh, for a uh, New Vision Awakened unit. He also has 75% chance 
general mitigation and um, 50% damage taken reduction by dragons. So that's good, that's good. Nothing to scoff at, to be honest. And in his base uh, brave shift, he becomes a DPS that um, can imbue only to himself a couple of elements, ice, fire and earth mainly. But yeah, he isn't all that good. Um, although one should state that his LB still hits pretty hard. As you can see, it's 240x max modifier. It's all attacks, it's uh, all enemies, one hit at 40 LB crystals, which is pretty cheap. But due to him being a Neo Vision Awakened unit, it's probably not worth it using him over, say, the Dane or Hawkeye. I, I don't think many people used Duran, but I might be wrong in this, so I will not comment on him any further because I don't want to give you wrong information or false information on Duran. He might be good, but I don't think he is. So let's leave it at that. All right, that brings us to my personal release prediction for uh, the month of June. Like I said at the beginning, we are for sure getting the Trail or Diverted Story event. At the beginning, a day got released at the same time on the JP server, so it's their story event. Um, for sure a story event early June, because we always get the story events at the beginning of the month. The second week we'll see the release of Vivi, just like we got uh, Arden in the second of week of May. So I guess this is a fair assumption. On June 17th, we are probably getting the global exclusive wave battle event. Or we may see the Trials of Mana collab on the 17th. That is absolutely a possibility. However, there was no event, if I'm not mistaken, for the Trials of Mana collab. They got released alongside the uh, Vision Worlds, that is a different format of Dark Visions. And I believe that was their event. There was no raid or um, mocking attached to it. At least the uh, wiki doesn't state anything regarding this, so yeah, we have to see because Dark Visions is starting on the 24th, probably, in June, so we'll have to see about that, I guess. But then again, Gumi releases units without any event these days, Arden, Vivi are going to be two examples here, so they may get released on the 24th and we are going, uh, 20, uh, 17th and we may see the global exclusive unit on the 24th plus the fifth anniversary celebration. So yeah, um, I will also state again, we may not see a global exclusive unit at all in June and no Trails of Mana collab in June as well. And instead just get Charlotte, the mocking event I talked about initially and Arthmore, the Final Fantasy XI raid instead of them in um, on June 17th would be then the raid event, on June 24th the mocking event. But I'm still fairly positive that we might get the Global Exclusive and Trial of Mana collab. Because the Trial of Mana collab has been hinted at multiple times, so chances are pretty high. And I'm super hyped about it. Alright, that brings us to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed this and I'm curious to hear and read your uh, predictions for the month of June because this one it's up for grabs. Anything goes, anything is possible. So thank you all for watching. Make sure to join my Discord and we'll see each other at the very latest on Thursday for Cacteria. Bye bye.